Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss the topic Fourier transform. And here the question, find the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to 1 minus x square when x is lies between minus 1 to 1 and 0 when x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than 1. And there is one question, evaluate the integral. So first of all, we write the function f of x is equal to, let f of x is equal to given function. So here, first we check whether the function in a given interval, whether it is E1 function or OR function. We know the definition of E1 function and OR function. When we substitute x equal to minus x, then uh, function as it is, then E1. If minus sign f of, f of x, then function is OR function. So here in first interval, minus 1 to 1, we substitute x is equal to minus x. So instead of minus x here, we put uh, instead of x, we substitute the minus x. That is 1 minus bracket square x square. That is minus x square is x square. That is we get 1 minus x square. That is the as it is original function. Okay. In first interval. The second interval there is a 0 constant function. Okay. That is the E1 function. Okay. It means the function is throughout E1 function. Okay. That is f of minus x is equal to f of x. That is the function is E1 function in between minus into 2 plus into 2. If function is E1, then we use cosine Fourier cosine transform. If function is OR function, suppose, then we use sine transform. And if function neither E1 nor OR function, then we use the Fourier transform formula. Okay. So here the function is E1 so that we use the Fourier cosine transform. So by Fourier cosine transform, by Fourier, Fourier cosine transform, cosine transform capital F suffix C, C for cosine lambda, okay, is equal to 0 to infinity F of x cos of lambda x with respect to x integral is equal to, okay. So, here we use uh, cosine transform because the function is given. So here, it means we Evaluate the only 0 to infinity range. 0 to infinity. And see the 0 to infinity from the given problem, it divides into two parts. The first part is 0 to 1. Okay. F of x cos lambda x with respect to x integration plus the second range is 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity f of x cos of lambda x with respect to x integration. Okay. See, when it lies between 0 to 1, the x is lies between 0 to 1, then the value of f of x is 1 minus x square, okay, cos of lambda x dx. Plus, when it lies between 1 to infinity, then the value of the f of x, see here, then the value is 0 and integration of 0. So, here the integral becomes 0. Okay, so simply 1 minus x square cos lambda x dx is remaining. So we solve this integration using the generalized bypass rule. We know the generalized bypass rule. The generalized bypass rule is the integration of u into v is u as it is v1. v1 means integration of v minus u dash. u dash means derivative of u into v2. v2 is integration of v1 plus u double dash v3 minus and so on. So, plus, minus, plus, minus. So, here the suffix is integration. Okay. And dash indicate the order of derivative. So, here the selection, we select here u as a vanishing function, 1 minus x square and v is non-vanishing function. So, that we uh, take here trigonometry function cos of lambda. It's not necessary. It should be. Okay. So here we apply the generalized y part tool here 1 minus x square as it is is equal to 1 minus x square as it is. Now v1, v1 means integration of cosine function is sine lambda x in denominator, the derivative of lambda x with respect to, with respect to x is lambda. Now minus u v1 minus u dash, u dash means 
derivative of this bracket, okay? That is minus 2x. Now keep this square bracket as it is. Don't simplify the square, uh, square bracket and bracket. Okay, now next V2. V2 means integration of V1. That is minus cos lambda x divided by the derivative of lambda x with respect to x and previous lambda is lambda square. Now plus, you see here, plus minus plus. The u double dash, u double dash means derivative of u dash is simply minus 2. Okay, and uh, V3 means integration of V2, the integration of cosine, keep this minus sign as it is, integration of cosine is plus sine lambda x, the derivative of lambda x is lambda and previous lambda square is lambda q. Now, minus, derivative of minus 2, derivative of minus 2 is 0. Now, stop this integration. Now, here, the uh, put the limit, lower limit, upper limit. Upper limit is 1, lower limit is 0. Now put upper limit throughout for x is equal to 1. When we substitute x is equal to 1 here, then here 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, the 0 into the term is 0 minus, minus this minus sign, this minus sign, this minus sign. Means there are 3 times minus sign. All time minus sign is there, then keep minus sign as it is. And substitute x is equal to 1. Now 2 into 1 and cos lambda 1. Okay. That is the 2 and uh, cos lambda. Cos lambda. X means x is 1 divided by the lambda square. Okay. Now next. Here minus sign. Here minus sign. 2 time minus sign. E1 time. Okay. Then it's plus. Now 2. 2. And here uh, x is 1. That is sin lambda uh, divided by lambda q. Now this is the upper limit minus lower limit. What happened lower limit? Put x is equal to 0. So here see the first term is 1 but second term we know we know sin 0 is 0 and cosine 0 is 1. So here the uh, uh, square bracket is 0 for x equal to 0. Now here x is 0 and into square bracket. Square bracket is not 0, cosine 0 is 1. But x is multiplied here, x is 0. The second term is also 0. Now here the sine 0 is 0. It means the lower limit throughout is 0. Okay, now simply part. Here uh, 2 is common and uh, denominator is lambda square and lambda q. Now I am taking 2 is common. The first I am writing here sign yeah, plus term and then negative term. Now here we uh, identify the LCM of denominator. The LCM is lambda cube. So right throughout single denominator lambda cube. So how we get the lambda here when we multiply and divide lambda here. Then here lambda cube. And first write the positive term. I am writing positive term sign lambda. And we multiply and divide here lambda. That is lambda cos of lambda. Okay, so this is the f of lambda. That is f of lambda suffix c is equal to two times two times sin lambda minus lambda. Actually, step is repeat again. Uh, lambda cube. Okay. So question is, uh, we find the Fourier transform here. The question is evaluate. You will evaluate this integral. For that purpose, uh, we take its inverse transform. Hmm? So this is nothing but as like a Fourier integral representation. So by definition of inverse transform, by definition of inverse, inverse Fourier. <coughs> cosine transform. Okay. That is f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to infinity capital f of lambda suffix c cos lambda x with respect to lambda integration. Okay. 
Now remember, some author uh, take the uh, in, initial problem, initial formula under root two upon pi. If we take here under root two upon pi here, here, then uh, write here under root two upon. If you not writing anything here, then take here two upon pi in inverse function. Okay. So here uh, I am putting the value of f of lambda that is two upon pi. Uh, 0 to infinity and the value is 2 in square bracket sine lambda minus lambda times cos of lambda divided by lambda cube into cos of lambda x with respect to lambda integration. Now simplify that is f of x is equal to f of x is equal to is equal to now here see uh, 2 into 2 4 okay that is 4 upon pi 4 upon pi 0 to infinity in bracket sine lambda minus lambda cos of lambda cos of lambda divided by lambda cube into cos lambda x with respect to lambda integral. Okay, right. Hmm. Now here uh, in the question, there is a evaluate this 0 to infinity x cos x minus sin x divided by x cube cos x by 2. Now in see the in a cosine, the angle is half is here, x by 2. Now here uh, we have the lambda x is here. It means we substitute the value here. Hmm. See here throughout lambda lambda indefinite variable is not important. So we change here. We substitute x is equal to x is equal to some value so that we get cos of here half angle. Hmm. So here we represent this term. The f of x is given in earlier. So we write f of x. So it can be written as it can be written as 4 upon pi 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity sine lambda minus lambda cos of lambda divided by lambda cube into cos of lambda x with respect to lambda integration and the value of f of x. Uh, f of x we write here 1 minus x square when x is lies between minus 1 to 1 and 0 when x is less than minus 1 and greater than 1. Okay. So here uh, we put the value of uh, x such that we get here half angle. Okay, so variable is not important. Then we interchange the variable. So here the role is x. X is here. We substitute here uh, value of x such that we get uh, lambda by. So here I am putting x is equal to put x is equal to x is equal to one by two. Then we get lambda by two. And which is lies between this value is lies between in which there are two intervals. The value is lies between one by two is lies between one to minus one to one. That is x is lies between x is lies between minus one and plus one. So that we consider the first term. And this pi uh, four upon pi is multiplied here. That is zero to infinity sine lambda minus lambda cos of lambda divided by lambda cube. Now here the value of x is 1 by 2 means it becomes lambda by 2 with respect to lambda is equal to. Now pi is multiplied here and 4 is divided and we consider this 1 minus x square because x is lies between 1 uh, minus 1 to 1 that is 1 minus 1 by 2 bracket square, we substitute the value of x in the right hand side also. Okay, is equal to, otherwise right here, pi by 4, pi by 4 in bracket, uh, 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to, is equal to, now 4 minus 1, 3 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 minus 1, 4. 
4 into 4 16 and this 3, 3 part divided by 16. Okay, but see in a given problem, uh, the first term is uh, x is there, x cos 6 is there. Okay, so here uh, the cos in a second term, so we multiplied throughout minus sign, minus sign that is 0 to infinity, multiplied minus sign throughout. We get this minus minus plus here minus lambda cos of lambda minus sine lambda divided by lambda two cos of lambda by two with respect to lambda is equal to minus three pi divided by sixteen. Okay. Now in definite integral, the variable is not important. So we replacing lambda by x now it can be written as 0 to infinity x cos x minus sin x x cos x minus sin x divided by x cube cos x by 2 with respect to x is equal to minus 3 pi upon 6 this is required answer of the integral. Thank you.